HIFFIG Travel Channel offers DIY travel video guides for more than 25 cities in Asia, US, and Canada. If you like this video, then subscribe, give us a thumbs up, or a comment. Aloha! Welcome to this episode of HIFFIG's The Big Island Hawaii series on Akaka Falls State Park. In this Akaka Falls State Park Travel Guide, we'll show you how to get to Akaka Falls on the Big Island, parking, fees, visiting hours, and tips for visitors. Akaka Falls plunges down 442 feet into a river gorge. The Kole Kole Stream runs through this valley and feeds Akaka and Kahuna Falls and then empties out into the ocean 2.5 miles past the falls. Akaka means separation or split in Hawaiian, which makes sense since the waterfalls separate the river. When you are at Akaka Falls State Park, it feels like you're on a movie set for Jurassic Park or Avatar, which I think may have the falls in these films, but I'm not 100% sure. Akaka Falls State Park is located at the end of Hawaii Highway 220, also known as Akaka Falls Road. It's 3.6 miles southwest of Honamu, which is north of Hilo. It'll take about 25 minutes from downtown Hilo to Kaka Falls. We drove from downtown Hilo. We took Hawaii Highway 19, also known as the Hawaiian Belt Road or King Kamehameha Road. We passed downtown Hilo with its beautiful ocean view on the right hand side and then on the left hand side you can see the lush rainforest when you cross the bridges. It's a gorgeous drive. Off Highway 19 you can take the historic scenic drive to the right which goes to the Botanical Garden of Hawaii. Signs for the historic scenic drive are clearly marked on Highway 19. On Hawaiian Highway 19, the Kaka Falls signs are clearly marked. Look for Honomu Road on your left hand side. We made a left on Hanamu Road from Highway 19, and then when we saw the T, we made another left. We passed a small and quaint restaurant and shopping area, then made a right on Highway 220 and went straight. We just kept following the Kaka Falls signs. We drove past a cute little town, farms, coconut groves, a fruit stand, actually a couple of them, and a forest of tall abizia trees. By the way, these albizia trees are from Indonesia and are considered an invasive species, but they're very pretty to look at. We also saw lots of sugarcane along the road. Warning, do not eat these as there are pesticide on them. We continued to follow the Akaka Falls sign, which are clearly marked on the side of the road. We kept driving until the end of Hawaii Highway 220 and saw the parking lot of the Kaka Falls State Park. We were very lucky and found a parking spot. The parking lot of Akaka Falls State Park is small and limited. There is a restroom located near the end of the parking lot, so make sure to use it before taking the hike. There are no restrooms along the trail. There is a fee for Akaka State Park. It's $5 per car with up to six passengers or a dollar per person for pedestrians. There's no charge for Hawaii residents, so bring your ID. 
If there's no parking available, you can wait as there are always people going in and out of the parking lot constantly. There's also parking along the road right outside the parking lot gate, which is free. You can easily walk to the entrance. The Akaka Falls State Park is open to cars from 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. If you're parking along the road outside of the parking lot and walking, then it's open from sunrise through sunset. Near the entrance, there's the Akaka Falls Lookout. Akaka Falls State Park also has a self-guided 0.4 mile paved trail which loops around the 65.4 acres of lush tropical plants and trees to scenic points overlooking looking Kahuna Falls and Akaka Falls. Please note that although Akaka Falls Trail is a paved trail, it includes multiple stairs in places which are not wheelchair accessible. We went down a few steps from the entrance. Then we had an option of going to our right or left at the beginning of the trailhead as if this is a loop trail. We took the right path, which is the recommended path. This easy 0.4 mile loop will take about a half an hour or more for the full loop around. If you only want to view Akaka Falls and walk a shorter distance, take the path to the left at the trailhead. The waterfall view is just a short walk down the path. On the trail to the right, we went down some stairs which takes you close to the bottom of the canyon. We are impressed by the draping fern wall, the bamboo grows, and the water flowing gently down the stream. The first waterfall we encountered was Kahuna Falls. We walked to a small overlook point from where we could see it. This waterfall it has a 400 foot drop, but it's difficult to get a good look at Kahuna Falls from within the park because of the outgrowth of trees and plants. After a good look at Kahuna Falls, we continue to the main feature, Akaka Falls. There are stairs which descend down leading towards Akaka Falls. Tip, this is a good photo spot for the Akaka Falls. At the bottom of the stairs is a viewing platform with a small rest area complete with roof to protect you from the rain and sun. There's also an informative plaque about the Oopoop fish. Did you know that the Oopu fish swims up Kole Kole stream and then climbs up 442 feet of the Akaka Falls using its mouth as a suction cup and then lays its eggs in the streams above? Even from the viewing platform, we could hear the pounding of the water at the bottom of the gorge at Akaka Falls. Here's a tip before you go. This part of Hawaii gets a lot of rain, so you might want a rain jacket. Don't forget the mosquito repellent and sunscreen. Once we completed our time at Akaka Falls, we walked the short distance back to the entrance and parking lot. On our way back, we saw many waterfalls, creeks, and of course, lots of flora and fauna. There's also a bridge which you will cross on the way, which is also a popular photo spot. We strolled slowly through the trail, enjoying all its lush green vistas, and of course, took lots of pictures. The trail of Akaka Falls State Park lies high on the western shoulder of the deep gorge into which the Akaka Falls plunges, and the falls can be viewed from several points along the trail throughout the park. Akaka Falls is a perfect example of a tropical rainforest filled with old banyan trees, colorful flora and fauna, babbling brooks and streams, insects, bamboo, and even banana trees. It's what you imagine when you think of a tropical paradise. After we finished our time at Akaka Falls, we stopped by the nearby fruit stand for some coconut water and fresh cut pineapple. This Akaka Falls State Park is good for the whole family and is an affordable ticket to a tropical paradise. This is highly recommended, combined with nearby Rainbow Falls if you have time. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.